So, as you know, you're here because of the profounding evidence brought up against you in the murder of Jared Scott. I had nothing to do with what happened to him. He was a great friend of mine. And I understand that you're shocked at what happened to your friend, but with the evidence as well as his sister to help back up this case, I mean, we, we have no choice but to peg you as a suspect in this case. But you haven't even heard my side of the story. Well, would you please enlighten me what's going on? Because as far as we know, Jared Scott was found dead in his apartment at 5.30 in the afternoon. The last person to see him was Linda Mahone. And in fact, the last per person to see him was also the person to find him dead. She claimed that you were the last person to leave the apartment. And in fact, it was your fingerprints that we found around his neck. So, if you know anything, Say it now. So I started my day. I woke up. I took a shower. I just skipped breakfast because I was already late to work. So I ran to work. I got myself some coffee. And then went over to his house. Jared? 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 Jared, we gotta talk about a deal. Jared? Jared! 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 Come on, man. Wake up. Come on, man. Wake up. <gasps> so you found your best friend dead in his apartment and you didn't have the damn sense to tell anyone? Not even call the police? I was scared, alright? I didn't know what to do. I found him lying there and I just... I, I froze. I didn't... I just... I couldn't see him any longer. I just got... I just went... So how do you explain the fingerprints on his neck? I don't know. I just touched his jacket. I never touched his neck. Well, as far as we can tell, you were. But we'll move on. Can you tell me, was there anything sh unusual about that day? Was there anything that was out of place, maybe? Well, he did seem to be acting pretty nervous lately. He never paid me back for a deal. And he just kept avoiding it. What deal? Yeah, he was supposed to pay me back on some rent. I was helping him pay the rent for his household. And he just he hasn't been paying me back lately. His rent? But was there anything unusual or out of the ordinary that happened? I don't think... Actually, there was something after I got off work when we went to the coffee shop. Alright, Oh, Jeff Elton's going to be the yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hey, what's a guy like you doing in a place like this? Well, after a long day of work, I gotta get myself some coffee. Let's cut to the chase here. Frankly, I don't care about your life and what you do with it. Just all I want to know is do you know my brother? Yes, I know your brother. So I know you two were involved in some type of business. Can you tell me what that consisted of? We meddle in some drugs that some people think are bad and some people think are good, but in the long run, they're good for people. So basically what you're trying to tell me here is that you've been dealing drugs with him. Essentially that's what I mean, but don't tell anyone, alright? Your secret's safe with me. Promise. You're free to go. So is there anything else you have to add after hearing what you heard? Well, actually, the only reason that Jared Scott is dead is because of me. And... That's because when my parents died, they left him everything and left me nothing, and I had to cope on my own. You don't understand. This was my only option. My secret is safe with you.